Hello everyone and welcome to Kernel of Wisdom. I'm Joelle and today we are going to talk about why gratitude helps. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching this video and for being fans. I am super grateful. You may have heard a lot of chatter about gratitude. We're told we should practice it regularly or include it in our meditations or keep a gratitude journal. But why? A lot of us are under a great deal of stress every day and it comes up as anxiousness, sadness, anger, fear, and other negative thoughts and emotions. Because our brains are plastic or molded by our thoughts, the more we experience negative thoughts or stress, the more those thoughts get deeply carved into our brains in the form of neural pathways. And those neural pathways, the deeper they get, the more it becomes a habit to sustain those negative thought patterns. Not only that, but our brains, and more specifically our amygdalas, see stress as a threat. Once the amygdala feels threatened by stress, it kickstarts our sympathetic nervous system to react to that stress. This is the body's fight or flight response, and for a long time it's been there to protect us. And so part of this protective response is to keep us focused on potential threats. In other words, our brain is programmed to keep us focused on being stressed, or angry, sad, afraid, and so on. But gratitude's a great way to break this cycle. Instead of focusing on life's stressors, we can focus on life's joys, which short-term helps the amygdala calm down. And long-term, the more we practice gratitude, the more we train our brains to recognize joy and positivity because we're carving neural pathways around these habits. Now, you may be wondering, how is that different than judging something as good or bad since we also practice non-judgment in mindfulness meditation? Well, with gratitude, it's less about suggesting something is good or bad and more about choosing to notice how something makes us feel. Being grateful for a cookie doesn't mean that we think the cookie is good. It still has lots of fat and sugar and things that we consider bad too. It simply means we are choosing to recognize the joy that that cookie brought us that day. We're noticing how we feel and why. And the proof is in the pudding. And by pudding, I mean research. Studies show that gratitude does increase positive emotions, happiness, and optimism, leading to greater overall well being. So now you may be wondering can't presence or humor or positive affirmations do all that too? I mean, yeah, they can, which is why they're also great to practice. But Gratitude has something special about it. Research has shown that gratitude in particular can help decrease feelings of loneliness and increase feelings of support, which in turn help increase self-esteem and life satisfaction. You see, gratitude is also a social emotion. It forces us to recognize that so much of what we have to be grateful for comes from outside of ourselves, comes from other people and the world around us which helps us feel connected and taken care of and therefore less lonely. So how can you feel more grateful? Well, take five minutes to just write down or acknowledge a few things each day that you're grateful for, especially on the hard days, even if it's as simple as the sun or a warm sweater or a smile from a stranger. In the next few weeks, I'm also going to give you a few more resources to help you build gratitude, including a video with more gratitude enhancing tips and a guided meditation for cultivating gratitude. In the meantime, I hope this video helped to explain why gratitude is important. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment box below or shoot me a note. Do not forget to subscribe for more mindful videos from Kernel of Wisdom. Have a great day and happy meditating.